uncommon leaders, super salespersons, innovative engineers, extraordinary negotiators, marketing geniuses, all of these people have something in common. They are peak performance leaders. Now, finding peak performance leaders is an extraordinary challenge. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. But we're going to kind of dig into some of the characteristics, leadership characteristics of peak performers and the search criteria necessary to find those people. Now, most common thinking or traditional thinking says that leaders have the following traits in common. Enthusiasm, persistence, they are innovative, possess self-confidence, they are committed people to a cause, they are self-motivated, and uh, they are good listeners. And in many cases that is very true uh, of leaders. But let's dig a little bit deeper. Uh, some of the great research on peak performance leaders has been done by uh, Charles Garfield from the University of uh, California in San Francisco. So let's take a look at some of the leadership traits that he has identified and then I will provide the search criteria from the employer's standpoint. So you want to take a look at these search criteria and see to it uh, that you meet those qualifications. So let's dig a little bit deeper. Okay, the first leadership characteristic is that um, the peak performers are risk takers and innovators. Peak performers always stay out of the comfort zone. They feel exhilaration and excitement in the pursuit of new challenges. Once a change has been met, then the peak performer must find a new quest. They are always seeking new ways to do the job better, better and go beyond what they have already done. They are never content and will become frustrated if they are not challenged. But let's look at some of their search criteria. When evaluating talent, employers want to look for people who initiate new projects, who implement ideas, and who refuse to accept the phrase, this is the way we have always done it. Employers want to drill down into their projects to understand how they lead others and how they produce bottom line results. The next leadership characteristic is vision and a sense of mission. Peak performers understand both short-term objectives and long-term goals. They are intensely focused and once they set a course it is almost impossible to stop them. The search criteria is that employers should seek people who have started projects and follow them through to completion while taking care of all the details and achieving the desired outcome. Now they might have a staff to assist them in this, but the leader will always provide the oversight necessary to achieve the uh, success. So you want to look for those traits in their personal lives as well. Here's a couple of very simple executives uh, or examples. Don't just hire a hiker, but rather hire the person who has hiked the Pacific Coast Trail from end to end. Another simple example. Don't hire a person who has been a member of an association, but rather hire the individual who has held several leadership roles within that association. The third leadership characteristic is that they are problem solvers. The best people do not place blame or find fault with others. No matter what positions they hold, they always assume responsibility. The buck stops here. They go out of their way to give credit to others. They will go under, around, over, or through brick walls. Nothing stops them. From the search criteria standpoint, you want to avoid people who have an excuse for everything that happened. Select those who take responsibility for their actions and are willing to admit their mistakes. 
Look for creativity, look for innovation, and look for initiative in solving problems. Uh, recently, we've been in a very difficult recession. You want to seek out those people who didn't use re the recession as an excuse for failure. The fourth leadership characteristic is that they are partners and team players. Peak performers give praise to others for helping them achieve success. Everyone in the process is a partner. All employees, vendors, customers, etc. share in the success or the outcome. From the search criteria standpoint, seek out people who have come from team environments. Look for signs of courtesy, compassion, understanding, giving, and sharing. Do they make frequent use of phrases like, thank you, you're welcome, please, well done, and good job are excellent indicators. Now, that doesn't mean that these people are uh, also not independent. Uh, the quality of being an independent thinker is important, but these independent thinkers must also be consummate team players. The next leadership characteristic is that they accept rejection. Peak performers are gracious in defeat. When something doesn't work out as anticipated, they are not bitter. They learn from the experience and will probably never let it happen again. Now, there's kind of a story I like to uh, share with people on this point. Um, in a person's resume, in our society, if our economy succeeded based on what everyone said that they did in their resume, gross national product would be three times what it is today. Uh, it's a fascinating kind of insight, insight. But rarely do job seekers focus on the challenges or the failures or the issues that they ran into in their career. I like to look at life lessons. So the search criteria is find people who have bounced back from failure or who have successfully coped with very difficult tragedies, whether they be personal or professional. A positive attitude in the face of a crisis is paramount. Survivors are winners and survivors are peak performers. And the final leadership characteristic is mental preparation. A common misconception of leaders uh, or peak performers is, is that they instinctively know what to do. In fact, the opposite is the case. The very best always think through their actions. They carefully plan, practice, rehearse, question, listen, and seek advice from others. They are introspective thinkers. They absorb what they have um, learned and then they make their decision. Their search criteria is that peak performers will probably have good writing skills and will have documented much of their work. You should do the same thing when you develop your credentials for your job search. You should also look for written business plans, project proposals, summaries of key accomplishments, and other documents showing their strategic thinking, their execution strategies, and bottom line results. Have they put their thoughts and their leadership uh, into writing? Uh, do they blog? Uh, you want to explore these people and learn if they share uh, what they have learned in their career. Finally, and most importantly, is that we all understand finding peak performers is a challenge. But what is even more difficult is once you have found a peak performer, is to keep them challenged. Too often within an organization, um, corporations hamstring the peak performers through rules, regulations, and controls. That is a major mistake. You want to give peak performers as much freedom as possible to do what they do best. So whether you are looking for a job or whether you are currently in a position, you want to examine these leadership characteristics, exude them in your search for a new position or when you are in your, in your organization. 
If you uh, pay careful attention to this, you will have an extraordinarily successful career and you'll be successful in your job search. If we can help you in any way, don't hesitate to give us a call. We wish you the very best of your success and in your career. And give us a call if we can be a benefit. Take care. Have a great day.